It's game on, and finally, Minnesota basketball fans get what they want. Janelle McCarville back with Lindsey Whalen. The dynamic duo, McCarville talks about it here. The Twins were on a new radio station. This Minnesotan is back home to talk community, sports, and yes, music. Kane in our company tonight. It's Tony time, and as boxing continues its rebound in the Midwest, Golden is here to bring us up to speed. The Wolves might not have won on the court, but they retaliated off the court Harlem Shake style. It's a great show. Fasten your seatbelt. It's time to get your game on. Greetings again from the Dakotas to the Twin Cities. You found game on in the dog days of winter tucked inside of Cooper Irish Pub. We're here in St. Louis Park. Great to be with you again, Rod Simons. And yeah, we're back from spring training. It was nice to be warm. 80 degrees watching the Twins play baseball. Back home, we're, in, we're urging spring to get here quickly. And we have a great show for you. We'll be talking hoops, big hits, the chefs in the house with a delightful array of salads for us coming out of the kitchen here at Cooper. And we have a lot of ground to cover. And we'll finish up with the twins from spring training in Fort Myers. But we start game on, as always, by the numbers. And when we look at the numbers, we find twins spring training rolls on opening day. Get this three weeks away. The Vikings continue to hear trade rumors as the team prepares for their three-day April draft. The Wolves are going to now try to play spoiler as their season winds down and the Swarm back to the hive and in the playoff chase. Couldn't be more delighted to start this game on than with the newest Lynx star. And she is a star in the WNBA. We all know her from the great days at the Gophers. Janelle McCarville back in the house. You're back in town. I am. Is it, is it kind of surreal? It is. I was actually talking with one of my friends the other day about how surreal it was and or is, I guess. Yeah. I mean, it's it still hasn't sunk in fully, but it's it's getting there. Nice. You don't look a day older than when I last saw you with the playing with the Gophers. A little bit, a couple days at <laughs> least. And, and we were talking. It's been like eight years. Yeah. I mean, it has been quite some time. And I was actually talking with Pam today that uh, Pam Borton Pam and Borton. Lindsay Whalen. They were both at the practice today. Um, you know, it's been a while since I was back on on the U at the campus and. Yeah. Playing with them, it was pretty fun getting back to my uh, roots as a gopher. Yeah. It was so, all maroon and gold out. It was, it was pretty nice. So you've been overseas. You've been playing with New York, the New York Liberty. When did you find out, and did your phone just go nuts when you found out you were coming back to Minnesota? Um, I found out before everybody else found out, so my phone did not okay. blow up until nice. uh, about the border. I think I took a picture of the Minnesota... The, the state statue yeah. right across the border. And uh, since about that point, everybody started speculating. And mm -hmm. then uh, at four o'clock, it was actually press conference. And since that moment, my phone has not stopped ringing. It's, it's still going. Yeah, I had to put it on silent for this interview. That's how, very, that's how yeah. Very fun. <laughs> and, and for those of you who remember the, the great days of those Gopher teams, you're gonna delight to know that you and Lindsey Whalen still stay in touch your paths always are different but you always stay in touch yeah um you know after college she went one way i went the other yeah. uh we played against each other several times overseas uh one time i can remember in particular it was in slovakia me and her talked about it the other day where we went out for a pizza after the game she was playing in the czech i was playing in slovakia and we went back to the house and played probably about two or three hours of ps2 and I dominated her in Madden, and you know, yeah. that, that was history, and we talk about it to this day. You dominated her in Madden. Yeah, probably not dominated. <laughs> it was probably 50 50. What is it like for you, being a professional basketball player, coming to what has been a championship team with Maya Moore, Augustus, Whalen, now you, a great passer, great rebounder? You seem to be a perfect fit in Cheryl Reed's system. Um, if I'm perfect, great you know I'm just trying to step in and give whatever they need you know I know they have lots of scorers lots of people who like to take shots and I'm an unselfish player who's willing to give them the ball you know uh, my teams overseas made jokes that I was a, a point post you know like not quite a point guard and not quite a post player so uh, you know I like I like to pass I like to get people involved and make the game as fun as possible so my question to you after having everybody on your radar is there added pressure on you or is this easy um i'm sure there's pressure on me as of right now i don't feel it you know the season's far away and mm -hmm. you know nothing there's no spotlight yet maybe once the season starts it could be but 
you know, I'm just trying to take it in stride. Um, obviously, there's pressure on the Lynx for getting back to the finals again. Yeah. Only this time winning it, you yeah. know? Every, everybody's going to have pressure on them in some way, shape, or form. It's just how we handle it and uh, come together as a team, I'd say. We couldn't be more excited to have you back in town. Man, I couldn't be more excited to be here. This is awesome. And your <laughs> smiling face, I remember it well. Yep. Janelle McCarville in the house. You're going to see her. All the link stuff. We tell you about it right here. We'll tell you a lot more as the season gets closer. Great to have you here. Sounds good. Thank you. Janelle McCarville right here on Game Over. We'd love for you to tune into the Twins this season on their new radio home, 96.3 K-Twin FM. Minnesota favorite Jason Nagel joins me for the post post show after each and every Twins broadcast. Get updates at ktwin.com and at gameontvmn.com. It's radio for us. Post post with Game On Flair only at 96.3 K-Twin. Fans are back. Voice of the fan asking, how will the Twins do in 2013? I sure hope it's going to be an exciting season. I certainly want a season that's better than 90 losses and and Hope always brings eternal. Let's go to the World Series. Who says you can't come home? This is Minnesotan taking care of radio business next on Game On. Uh, about whether they would consider having Jose, and this is what he said. Is there anything that helps you see the court better or get so many, rack up so many assists? You know, you know who you're playing with. You know, if he can jump, if he likes going left, he likes going right. No looks in between to no one to throw an alley oop or. No, it's just practice ball handling skills, passing. You just practice a lot, you know. Anything else? I can read minds. I won't tell anyone. I know. They don't agree on much, these two, but they do love K-Twin, these two. What? I love K-Twin infinitely more than you. No. Nope. I'll six presets in my car. K-Twin. Man, I hear K-Twin in my sleep. I don't sleepwalk. I sleep rock. Oh, we're Sauce here from KFAN. My weekly trivia question, courtesy of Bar Abilene, is since moving to Minnesota from Washington, D.C., have the Twins won more games than they have lost? We'll get to the answer at the end of Game On. Time 839, your weather 14. Looks to be sunny right now. That's the way it's going to be today. Hi. Welcome back to Game On. Great to have you with us this weekend. You may not recognize the face, but you're going to see him a lot. You do recognize the voice. It's Kane from Kane & Company on K-Twin Radio 96.3. Kane's in the house. How are you, Rod? Good to see you. Thank you for having me. Appreciate that. Kane Peterson, longtime Minnesotan, moved out mm -hmm. to, out of state for years, and you're back to help the new home of the Twins get off the ground. Yeah, I've been on the East Coast for 16 years, a place I never thought I would move, yeah. in New York City. Yeah. Minnesota born and bred, you know. Yeah. What, what am I gonna do Where in Minnesota? Uh, Moundsview. Moundsview. I grew up in Moundsview, Minnesota, went to oh, Irondale yeah. High School. Nice. Big shout out for them. Nice, uh, they love that. But Yeah, but now that I'm back, I, uh, it's funny, you could be gone for that long of a period, you come back and it's like you haven't even been gone for 16 years. Is that years. right? No, there's a lot that's changed about the Twin Cities, Yeah, but Really, it hasn't, if you know what I mean. It's it, it's almost like my entire life for the past 16 years didn't happen. It's very strange, but I could not be happier to be back. We have this new morning show, yeah. uh, Katie Company on K-Twin, that we're, uh, we're working really hard at. It's, it's my baby, so to speak. It's, yeah. it's all I think about and care about. And you guys sound great. And Thank you. It's a gargantuan overhaul of the, of the mm. station in that you're mixing sports, uh, baseball, every single right. day with music at different uh, different times, and it's a lot of work for you. It is, community, sports, and music. Those right. are our three benchmarks, our pillars, if you will, and uh, we're, we're very local. Uh, of course, we do talk a lot about the Twins, but sports in general, right. because that's community. And the music, people have asked, well, what, what's the format, what do you play? They're, it's just up-tempo, feel-good hits is really all it is. I we, tell people it's stuff that Rod listens to. Yeah, well, good. Yes. I, hopefully more people than just Rod. <laughs> Listen to. Oh, I know, I know there are. Yeah. So, were you apprehensive about coming home? Absolutely. I mean, when you're somewhere for 16 years, especially New York. Yeah, it, it's. I mean, 
and say what you want. People ask me all the time, well, are you glad to be back? Do you miss it? Yeah, absolutely I miss New York. It's New York City. Yeah. There's nowhere like it on earth. Uh, and you know, when you're anywhere for 16 years, it becomes your home. Right. And so, you know, I've got family out there and it is my home and it was very hard to come back, but this is an opportunity of a lifetime. Yeah. Working so closely with the twins, hosting a morning show, mm -hmm. you are back home, you can go home again. Yeah. It's just, uh, it was something you couldn't pass up. I love the fact that you have really thrown yourself into being home because you're a season ticket holder for the Vikings now. Yeah, I, you know why the whole time I was there, I did not give those up. I had the season tickets the whole the whole time. Nice. Uh, only the past few years did I not come back for every game, but there's always someone to buy those, and that's something that you're not. I, you, how do you get rid of your Viking season tickets? We've been a Viking. I've been a Viking season ticket holder since the early '90s. Wow. So yeah, I'm just excited. And now with the Twins and working so closely with them, I'll get to. Yeah. I have not been to a game yet at Target Field. Perk, who I work with, Katie right. Company, Eric Perkins from Carol Levin, he talks about the food all the time that's he, everyone loves the feel but he talks about the food i can't wait to dive into that i gotta be honest with you being at target field and i've seen all the ballparks it is you're so close and the skyline is right there it mm -hmm. just is it's a great you've been the yankee the new yankee stadium yeah the new one you're yeah. way back i mean it's it's gargantuan it's it's yeah well it's steep and you're way up top and it's breezy. this is yeah. so right on top you're gonna love it and I get. I, I would imagine that the association with the twins is special too for you. Very special. You're talking about uh, a guy who um, I was there. Remember the Dave Kingman pop up when it went through oh, the yeah. hall, the Metrodome. Yeah. I was there. A lot of people now say, "Oh, I was there." I was actually there, and I saw the ball go through the hole. Everyone's looking around for it. I'm like, yeah, "It went up there." Yeah, there you is know? a conspiracy theory about there, that. There, there is. But I, I know the truth. Uh, but I was there during the lean years. I remember being there for a game against the Blue Jays. Remember the uh, Harv and Marv buyout okay. when nobody was showing up and that, they had to save the team? Yeah. There was like 6,000 people in the stadium and they announced the sellout of 53,000. Of course, we all laughed. But yeah. I, I, I was there lean years and so it's, it yeah. feels really good. I, I feel a strong bond with the Twins. You know the truth. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's your, so I love that. That's good stuff. So please come back. Uh, I, I'm going to do, I'm on the other side of the, the time clock from you mm -hmm. doing the post post with Jason Nagel. But uh, Delighted to be in the same studio. Great to work with you. You're uh, very talented. I've been oh, a fan sorry. for a long time. It was great working with you those few shows when you filled in for Perk. Oh, I love Hopefully that. Hopefully when he goes away, you will do that again for us. So. Well, we got that worked out. Like I said. Okay. Yeah. So we'll make sure that happens. Hey, we love having you here. Thank you, Rod. Going to be a regular Pleasure on Game On, man. I hope so. Oh, yeah. Great stuff. Thank you. You'll hear him. Kane and Company, 96.3 K2 and Radio. It's radio for us. Very on Game On. You can get your game on anytime. Download our official app for iPhones and Android 2. Full shows, sponsor links, and great inside information, and tons of photos. We link you to our show website. It's packed with good stuff. And please check out our partner site, the best Viking fan site around, purplepride.org. Bookmark us at gameontvmn.com. Fans always on our mind. Voice of the fan asking, how are the Twins going to do in 2013? Hopefully better 90 losses. Got to be better than that, right? On deck, it's Tony time with Golden Caleb Truax on Game On. You gotta hold okay. it. You gotta burn it. I see her out high, loads up, fire scores. You gotta hold on my sleeve, I can't leave. It murdered the original me, and I can't grieve. So this is who I'm thinking. Anyone's gonna, gonna catch him right in? Shoot and scores with the first game shot. Give my mama crib in the birds and no fit in the me. Bud Light, the official beer of NFL fans who do whatever it takes. Here we go. It is Tony time, and we're delighted to have boxing champ Caleb Truax in the house with his fiberglass fist that is going away in days. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to get it off. I'm going crazy, man. <laughs> Champ, how you been? I've been good, I've been good. Every uh, Everything is going as planned as far as uh, the healing process, and uh, I just can't wait to 
to get this thing off and get back to training full time. He'd love for you to be part of his social media network because I, I got to tell you, I was picking up Twitter today and I was looking around and I see something, a little joust that you had. Someone walked up to you and said <laughs> something about your, your fiberglass yeah. fence. He points at the cast and says, hey, are you fully, fully recovered yet? And I said, no. <laughs> Conversation <laughs> no, over. No, that was it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I bet you're just itching because you can't really train the yeah. way you want to train. Literally and figuratively. It started, oh it started itch too, but uh, no, I, uh, I've been working on my left hand, working on my jab, just doing what I can in the, in the boxing gym. Uh, doing a little running, I just ran three miles before I came here, so just doing what I can and uh, kind of enjoying the break and at the same time trying to stay a little bit in shape and a little bit fit so I don't have to work that hard to get back when I, when I get up. But it's not like you off. don't have any events coming up. You, you're As soon as you get that off, you're back in the gym because you got to yeah. fight today. Uh, I'm hoping to, to fight May 18th at the wow. Minneapolis Convention Center. This uh, it all depends on how the rehab goes. I should be looking at probably a couple weeks to, to get my hand back to normal strength. Um, yeah, but it's going to be a great night of fights. Uh, the 18th, Charles Myers fight, fighting uh, Tyler Halton from up north. Um, Jeremy McLaurin's fighting Tony Lee. It's like a St. Paul kind of grudge match. It's both going to be great fights, and uh, I hope to be on the card too, like I said, just depending on how this goes. When you look at other fighters like Charles Meyer, we, we had him on uh, a few months ago here. Do you s study them, or, or do you just casually watch the fight is I I would imagine it's hard for you just to watch a fight um yeah it's 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 kind of uh it's kind of a catch-22 for me because like when, right. when I'm when I'm uh watching Charles fight I'm uh I'm studying you know things that I can pick up on but I'm also watching it for Charles you know because Charles is a is a stable man of mine right. so I'm watching it kind of uh breaking it down as it's going on I want to tell him what he did wrong what he did right afterwards so he can improve or make the necessary changes to to improve uh uh, it's kind of like a, a, yeah. a third eye from the sky, you know, another oh, coach. Without a doubt. And yeah. I would imagine in, in in your sport, there are so many cooks in the kitchen at different times giving you advice. That oh, yeah. You, yeah. you need to boil it down and just get it from the people who know yeah. exactly what it's like in the ring. It's uh, it's That's one tough thing. Uh, it's hard to balance because, you know, every every person and their mom wants to give me advice on how to fight. and Even me at times. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody does, man. Oh, you got to do this, you got to do that. Yeah. But I take advice from my team, and, I, and I'll listen to anybody. I'm not going to be disrespectful. And, and turn my other shoulder, you know, turn my shoulder. But uh, it, uh, I listen to my team and like a couple of select fighters and a couple of select people that, uh, that I know that they know what they're talking about. So, well, we're very excited and very excited that you're going to be back and and the doctors don't fear any kind of uh, long term. No, he he said uh, he said it wasn't a bad break. It was just in a spot to where they had to put pins in it so it will heal properly. Uh, he said it should be good as new um, as soon as I get my hand back to normal uh, through rehab and uh, be punching people in no time. Still good to bring it. Yeah, I got to bring it. Always. Oh, oh, I love that. <laughs> Caleb Truax, it's Tony time. Good luck in Forget your next Forget Tony time, it's Caleb time. Oh, <laughs> you hear that, Tony? <laughs> Only here on Game On. We keep you up to date with the Wolves and the NBA with my weekly blog at Simon Says at Timberwolves.com. It's connecting you to all things inside the team. It's interactive, too, so drop me a note. Let me know what you're thinking. Rod at GameOnTVMN.com and look for a new Simon Says blog every Thursday, only at Timberwolves.com. Time now for the Kasi calendar. Kasi is the next big name in sports. The Wolves get the very tough-looking San Antonio Spurs on March 12th. Anaheim and Colorado visit the X for the Wild. The Swarm with Washington. And there's the NFL draft in April for the Vikings. The Twins open with Detroit on April 1st. The Lynx, June 1st. Minnesota United, April 6th against San Antonio. And the Roller Girls at Roy Wilkins Auditorium. There's the PGA in Tampa Bay. The Champions with Toshiba. NASCARs at Bristol. And Wheels of Thunder wrapping up the season in Lake Geneva. Here's a cool event. It's called Rock and Jock Expo. Sunday, March 4th, 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. at the New Hope Cinema Grill it's going to be a day of sports and music, collectibles and autographs. Great stuff. The Rock and Jock Expo. Don't forget our Game On podcast with Rod Webby and the A-Train. Inside information. Drop us a note at GameOnTVMN.com. Kazi is the next big name in sports gear. Confidence defined. Confidence delivered. It's Kazi. On deck, the chef cooking up some serious and healthy salads. Next. Hi, I'm Christian Ponder with the Minnesota Vikings. I know how important it is to fuel up so that I can be successful on and off the field. As a partner with the Taste of the NFL and the NFL's Play 60 programs, 
I am proud to encourage all of my fellow NFL players to do our part to make sure kids get the nutrition they need to learn and play at their best. Go to tasteofthenfl.com and nfl.com to find out how you can help. Welcome to the team. Make sure to stay connected with the Timberwolves on Twitter. Follow us on Twitter to receive the latest game updates, behind-the-scenes action, and to gain access to prizes and exclusive photos. The Minnesota Timberwolves, Wolves United. Sixty Second Chef back at Cooper, and it's Chef Seth. Always love being with you because you have so many different varieties, and we're talking about salads right now. And your goal is to show people the not the typical Irish pub menu. This sure. stuff's healthy. Yes. And start with this, which is your favorite? Well, right here we have our quinoa salad. We toss it with some broccoli, sweet potatoes, uh, fresh basil, capers, uh, lime, garlic, vinaigrette, and top it with a fresh avocado. Fresh avocado. Yeah. I love that. Over here I was nibbling and you caught me because <laughs> I was nibbling on the salmon here. And what is this one? Uh, this is our smoked salmon salad. Uh, with our spring mix, oh. Kalamata olives, heirloom tomatoes, uh, again fresh avocados, a uh, side of caper vinaigrette, and topped with fresh ground black pepper. And it is fresh salmon. Yes. I bet this is a very popular dish. Yeah. Yes. And it's right salad. here, just perfect for my hand, is... This is our hummus wrap, uh, grilled chicken hummus wrap. This looks delicious too. Is your goal to get people, uh, you, you, uh, you obviously serve a lot of hamburgers. Yeah. But I bet these are becoming increasingly more popular. Yep, they're picking up. Yeah, well this is amazing. And one more time around the horn, this is this the- is our, uh, quinoa salad. Okay. Our smoked salmon salad. And, and our- uh, Hummus wrap. Hummus wrap, yeah. This Grilled is a beautiful hummus. thing and uh, Thank you for leaving these at the table yeah, for me. Yeah. This is awesome. Chef Seth in the house, the 60 Second Chef here at Cooper, only on Game On. Hey, we'd love to have you join us for a Game On taping. Special taping on March 12th at one o'clock, a lunchtime taping at the Lippy in St. Paul. We'll welcome Viking big defensive end Everson Griffin. We'll be giving away tickets and autographs don't forget to keep your game on with Facebook, Twitter, and all our updates at GameOnTVMN.com. Okay, you've seen this version of the Harlem Shake. Everybody has. The Wolves respond next. The Harlem Shake. Pick up the latest issue of Wheels of Thunder magazine. If it's on wheels, you'll find it in Wheels of Thunder. Full color photos of bikes, trikes, cars, trucks, and even sleds. High performance are right off the street. Mind blowing power, speed, and custom touches. It's all in Wheels of Thunder magazine. Plus, find out about the latest races, rallies, and custom products and services in your area. Check out Wheels of Thunder on Facebook and follow them on Twitter. Wheels of Thunder. It starts your morning with a forecast, then watches your energy use all day. It can change your temperature from anywhere in the world, prevent you from heating and cooling an empty house, and still give you a comfortable welcome home. The iComfort Wi-Fi from Lennox. The most advanced comfort control solution available anywhere is now available for your home. So call Liberty Comfort Systems and make your home a smart home today. Lennox, innovation never felt so good. Twin City Wireless doesn't care about our competitors. We care about you, the customer. We care that you get the best prices. Plans starting at $40 a month, unlimited text, talk, international text, and internet. Twin Cities Wireless carries all the latest models of phones and accessories and handles all service providers. At Twin City Wireless, your problem is our problem. Twin City Wireless now has two locations, Brooklyn Center and Northeast Minneapolis. Twin City Wireless is not just business, it's personal. It's meat sauce if you've forgotten, but you can't forget this face. Here's the trivia answer. The question was, since moving to Minnesota from Washington, D.C., have the Twins won more games than they have lost? The answer is no. They've won 4,138 games, and they've lost 4,147 from 1961 through 2012 with two World Series and 11 playoff appearances. 
See you Tuesday night at Bar Abilene, 8 to 10 for trivia, and next week on Game On. Welcome back. Delighted to have you with us. This is Game On, powered by Cooper Irish Pub in St. Louis Park. And delighted that you have adjusted your clock to our new start time, which is 10 o'clock every Sunday right here on my 29th. That duly noted, it is time for our Game On update. It's true, snow still owns our landscape, but the Twins are putting in overtime in Florida, preparing for their season opener at Target Field April 1st. To a player, they tell me that this will be a better summer than the last two, and it all starts with their mindset. You know, that's 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 the mentality we take to it. Last year was last year. The year before that was, we, I don't even know what happened last year. So you have to you come in here with a clean slate and and because uh, it's a, it's a different bunch of guys. Yeah. You know, we have a different team this year. And we'll set your Twins roster the day before opening day. It's a season opening show only here on Game On March 31st. Minnesota's pro soccer team will again have a new look in 2013. You might have known them as the Thunder or the Stars or Stars FC. They're rebranded as Minnesota United FC. You see the new logo? That's a loon taking flight, reminiscent of the league championship in 2011. They are the Minnesota United FC. And if you spend any time on the internet or the web checking out different YouTube videos, you might have caught the Miami Heat's Harlem Shake. It's a very popular YouTube video. The Heat were in town and the Wolves had to respond. They might not have on the court, but they responded with video and this is priceless. <laughs> well done, Crunch. That's a TKO. And that's your Game On Update. <laughs> you, like, you like Crunch beating the you-know-what out of it. Crunch did a great job. He rocked the Harlem Shake. That's the best version ever, don't you think? I completely agree. That's, yeah. my, that's my favorite version of the Harlem Shake. Hey, thanks for letting us be a part of your weekend. This is Skolt Scott, and you're gearing up for the next Viking function, which is about a month and a half away. Yeah, draft party, April 25th and 27th at the Dome. Be there. It's the best Viking fan event preseason you can, you can get to. And you'll take pictures with the fans. Oh, yeah. All the VW will be in the house rocking the place. Be all, there. All our updates at GameOnTVMN.com. We leave you with pictures of one sunny place, Twins Spring Training in Fort Myers, Florida. Until next week, keep your game on. Game on. <laughs>